Greetings, everyone. Hey, how you doing? This is Matt Sella, and welcome to another Netflix season review for Carmen San Diego Season 2. This is a non spoiler review, so don't you worry, I will not be giving away any major plot points for Season 2, especially the second half of the new season. If you haven't seen the first season, I highly advise you tread caution. The second season does kick off from the events of Season 1, but before we begin, be sure to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell to be notified when new videos drop. Carmen San Diego, Season 2, 10 episodes. The first thing I have to put in the fun is I freaking love the art style of the show. I love the natural textures and the subtle detail put into the art direction of this series, the vibrant colors, the mood shifts between warm to cool colors, depending on location, time of day. They even add the occasional ambient glow or occlusion to some of the cinematic scenes. It's so well done. I even like how varied the human characters are to be so distinguishable as they are, even though it's a stylized cartoon world. Chromosphere? Excellent design work, guys. If you're an artist or an art fan, this show is definitely going to be beyond appealing for you. Gotta give DHX Media credit, too, for the animation. It's not the most fluid 2D animation, but I think it really carries the weight of the visual design of the characters well. The motions aren't constantly all over the place, and allows the strong poses and silhouettes of the character take center stage, especially in the action sequences. Now, in terms of the story, and again, this is non-spoiler, so while this is not as deep or as thought-provoking as, say, maybe like Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, I got that rush of having fun watching an episodic show. The characters were charming, they weren't overly annoying, although Zack got pretty close, but with the siblings together, they really grow on you. While the season continues Carmen's resolve to undo Vile, the evil thieves organization, throughout the world, we get snippets of character relationships, especially between her and her former teacher of Vile, Shadow Sun, who betrayed Vile at the end of season one to save Carmen. Of course, Vile didn't know about that, but Shadow Sun quickly becomes an ally, which makes a lot of fun interaction between him and the siblings. And speaking of the siblings, yeah, they have growing moments too that I really liked. It's an action adventure series and it really shows. I was having fun almost each episode. Like, I want to see what caper Carmen and the gang will go on to next. And the educational moments are there, which I feel like they really upped in this season compared to the last one. Sad thing is, I'm an old man, so I don't remember much of anything they taught me. Except for no tigers in the wild of Africa. I kind of already knew that. But do the kids know? Ah. Oh. By the way, I couldn't figure out where to put this in my review, but quick footnote, I still love the character design for Dr. Bellum. Whoever was responsible for this exact design, give that person an Emmy, a Nobel Peace Prize, I don't care, give them something for this awesomely quirky design. I, I, it's great, I love it. My only complaint I think I have for the season is I feel like the finale was a bit abrupt. Like last season, I really felt the tension. Second season, the tension was mostly in the late middle part of the episodes. And the finale episode just kind of happens. I feel like more weight into the stakes or the emotional anchor could have really brought me to the edge of my seat. That being said, I thought it ended in an interesting note. It adds something that goes towards more of Carmen's character growth and ambition. I'm curious to see how they handle it and what adventures are to be had. In the end, I love this series personally. Not my favorite Netflix animated show, but definitely in my top five, right next to those Del Toro produced shows like Troll Hunters. It has the right balance of cartoon adventure, charm, high stake action, and a solid story to follow. But hey, that'll do it for this non spoiler review for Netflix Carmen San Diego Season 2. Right now, I want to hear from you guys. If you've seen Season 2, let me know, did you like it? Did you not like it? What are some of your favorite moments? Share your thoughts. Join the conversation. And if you like this review, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that notification bell. And if you want to support me directly, consider going to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Matt Seller. Donate as low as a dollar a month or help go towards my podcast, art, animation, and content made just for you. This is Matt Seller thanking you all for tuning in. <laughs>